Okay, Mr. Atheist. And for this particular video, Mr. Anti-Theist, let's do a little thought experiment. Thought experiment? Yeah, a little thought experiment. Try it out. Try it out for size. See how it goes. Let's just say, for argument's sake, that you win. Yeah, I win. What do I win? You win. Religion's over. Somehow or other, your videos were so convincing to so many people that we, of our own accord and our own volition, dismantled religion from society. We're like, F this religion. Those guys are right. This sucks. Tear it down. Now, fast forward 50 years. Yeah, you won. Religion's over. Now, fast forward 50 years. What kind of world do we live in? What do you foresee? Put your little thinking cap on and see. How, are there any potential problems that may have arisen from the dismantling of religion? Do you see any? Are you looking? Let's think about it. Well, one potential problem that gets brought up time and time again, now we've dismantled the social pressure, the pro-social benefits of religion have also been removed along with all the toxic stuff. Yes, religion's all negative. That's all we do all day long is hate caves. That's it. That's the only thing we do. It's the only thing we talk about in church. How much we hate caves. I hate caves. So do I. I hate them. I hate them. Blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's the only, that's the only sermons. No, okay. So, fast forward 50 years. There's no more religion in society. Are there any potential problems that you foresee? Are people good? One potential problem? People might become, how do you deal with all these amoral thugs running around? Yeah, potentially amoral thugs. You did not foresee that. Herein lies the difficulty. One of the potential, one of the deep problems of human nature that Christianity actually addresses very successfully that I do not believe in most of your anti-theist screeds you have reckoned with is that human nature is given over to corruption of its own accord. It tends towards the not necessarily evil but immoral because there is pleasure in immorality. Now whether you believe in the Bible as a true book or not, there is a theological argument and a philosophical argument that undergirds the entire structure of Christian thought that I think is completely sound. You do away with religion, you are still going to have to reckon with that to one degree or another. What it analyzes is human nature. And unlike Rousseau, finds human nature to be corrupt. Not necessarily evil, corrupt. Given over to corruption. So we have dismantled, so you and I together, you convince me, let's just say, you convince me. Your videos were so convincing that I'm like, yeah, Christianity is terrible, let's throw it out. But now we got a society with a whole bunch of amoral thugs. Because that is one potential of human nature without the, without the counterbalancing force of religion. This is why Jordan Peterson is so excited about religion, even though I don't think he's a Christian. Whenever he, yeah, ask him. Watch what he asks him. He hems and haws. You ask me if I'm a Christian, I don't hem and haw. I go, praise God, yes. Yes, praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> you see, I didn't have it on at all. He's, Craig, are you a Christian? Yes, praise God, hallelujah. See, no hemming, no on. It's easy. It's obvious. Ask Jordan Peterson if he's a Christian. Well, it depends on how you define, depends on how you define God. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Why? Because he's not really a Christian. He doesn't really believe in the, in the tenets of Christianity as written. He has had no personal revelation of the divinity of Jesus Christ. It's perfectly obvious by how he talks about the subject. He kind of dances around it. He sort of half believes in religion because he sees its usefulness in the society at large. That's more what he's talking about most of the time is the usefulness of religion in the society at large. The pro-social benefits of religion that the anti-theist seems to completely ignore as if there are none. That's why I said... You know, anti-theists pretend that there are no social, pro-social benefits of religion. Well, okay, maybe some of you don't. Now, I've been in conversations with a lot of you that don't. But we're talking about the society that you want to build. How are you going to, how are you going to get human beings to voluntarily write their conduct correctly? walk correctly before God. I know how Christians do it. There's a form of pressure, and you think that's one of the toxic aspects of religion, for example, the threat of hell. But the invisible cop on the beat that God is, 
Now, keep in mind, I'm a Christian, 100%. I believe that actually God influences society to be morally upright, whether they believe in God or not, immaterial. The invisible cop on the beat exists and influences the behavior. You take away his influence on the world and you'd have human nature writ large and it would be horrifying to behold. It would be absolutely horrifying. Then you'd see with your own eyes what human beings are really made of and you would run <laughs> you would run in terror from the society that you invented. But throwing out my belief system for the time being, and let's just entertain the, the argument from the point of view, from your point of view, that I'm full of crap. <laughs> there is no God. And the only, thing inf the only influence religion has on people's behavior is the peer pressure and the societal norm and the not stepping out of the norm. It still solves the problem. This is what I'm trying to point out. It still solves the problem successfully. This is part and parcel of why Christianity has been so inarguably successful. Much as you see all the toxic residue of, you know, 2,000 year history of Christianity, you don't see that, you know, Europe itself was known as Christendom for a long part of its history. And as late as 1830, it was still pretty much illegal to be an atheist. That's how strong and pervasive Christian thought was on both the United States and England. It was still illegal to be an atheist in most places. And if it wasn't flat out illegal, it was still kind of dangerous. Yeah, you guys cry now because you can't win, like, you know, a state legislature vote in Texas or something like that. But once upon a time, you were being persecuted. You weren't even necessarily allowed to exist, legally speaking. So Christianity has been inarguably successful as a social movement, as a religion, as a as a force in society. Absolutely successful. That's, that's non-negotiable. That is not a debate. That's true. You say that there are, there's a payoff for that that is not worth the pro-social benefits, that it's too toxic and it's been poisonous and ruinous. And I tend to agree with you about the things that you cite as toxic. We tend to be on the same page when it comes to that. Yes, I think you spend a little too much time dwelling on it, but, you know, other than that, still, Thought experiment still exists for the purposes of this video. Fast forward 50 years, you win. We've removed religion from society at large. How are we going to get people to right their conduct correctly? One of the benefits of the thought of the God who's going to strike you down when you step out of line, or cheat my wife, God's going to punish me. You remove that invisible cop on the beat. What's to stop the person from cheating on his wife? Oh, it's immoral in some sort of vague sort of, <laughs> it's immoral in some sort of vague, blah, blah, blah. It's not right because, you know, I wouldn't like it. Uh, I'm a human being and we need to all work together. You know, what are you going to do? It's easy to give somebody morally correct admonitions with the threat of punishment. Though you say that threat of punishment never materialized, fine. But it's still easy to do. And you still have human nature to contend with. All I'm telling you is to think, I, you know, there's not, a, there's not a one simple answer to this. How are you going to get your society to conduct itself correctly without the pressure, the pro-social pressure of religion? How are you going to get them to correct the problem of human nature? Something to think about. That's all, you know, that's all, you know. Write your books, do your lectures, see, see what you come up with. It's just something to consider, that's all. Amen.